The Asia Institute was founded in 1987, formerly known as the China Institute, was started by Helen Lang. The story goes that one day she was here um, attending, in a warm August day, uh, attending the Kentucky State Fair, and as she was walking around, she noticed that the attendees were looking at her as if she were like a um, one of the baked goods or the quilts that were around. D during that time, people didn't really know much about the look of Asians, specifically here in Kentucky in the Midwest. Seeing the need to educate others about her heritage, she opened the Asia Institute. Post-COVID, they would get back to Houghton tea ceremonies, teaching origami, calligraphy, and Mandarin. There are so many programs and events for you to learn about their heritage all under one roof, including awareness. Asian Americans make up 2.7% of the metro population. The top five Asian groups in the Louisville community are Indians, which make up number one, Vietnamese, number two, Filipinos, three, Chinese, four, and Koreans, five. Balance against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders has increased. Nationally, the uptick of Asian violence has gone up 157 percent. Um, locally, there have not been any really truly reported cases of Asian violence within the Louisville Metro or the state of Kentucky since January 2020. Buno wanted to also remind people if you experience or see it, say something. If you ever encounter anything, report it. Please report it. I would challenge everyone to look at your own communities, look at your own boards, look at your own areas of leadership, and really see how many Asians do I have who are part of this? Because the way we're gonna transcend this is through representation and through education. I asked Buno to finish this sentence for me. When you visit the Asia Institute, please come hungry, learn to appreciate and enjoy the different flavors of Asia. Be prepared to, to experience the flavors, the cultures, and just to learn, just to learn and appreciate that this gem is here in Louisville, Kentucky, a region that really benefits from learning about our, 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 our different brothers and sisters. For your story, I'm Shirlene Shanklin for WHAS 11 News.